Welcome back to Watching Baseball. The first part of this show, we did a bunch of World Series moments from every World Series. Went from 1972, 73, 74, 75, 76, 76, 76, 76, 76, 76, 76, 76, 76, 76, 76, 76, Now we've got to figure out what we want to watch next. We're going with game 163 of the 1978 season. Yankees and Red Sox in a tie-breaking game because I like the older stuff better. And this one seems like a good one. I do, since we're kind of restarting this. And if anyone's watching this for the first time, there's a misconception out there, Jake, that we're trying to give the audience information. No. No, no, no. We are watching something and reacting to it. And we're like, why don't you guys take notes and study first? And I was like, we're not informing you. No way. We're reacting to this. So, I mean, I've, I've seen bits and pieces of this game for sure, because Yes Network always plays them. I've never seen it in full. I know about the star players, but yeah, there'll be stuff that I am learning for the first time that you guys may know. And that's that's the point of this. Those are that's the goal. Yeah, and I, I, I normally give a couple notes beforehand. If you want, look up nineteen seventy eight American League East tiebreaker game. It has its own Wikipedia page, and I, I just think some important tidbits. Uh Yanks and Sox had won the AL pennant the the previous three years, uh, Mike Torres, who starts this game, went from the Yankees to the Sox. The Yankees went full midseason Steinburner with uh, suspending guys, fired Billy Martin. Um, and then, yeah, it all it all accumulates in this one game. The Yankees caught them. There was the Boston Massacre, four games they destroyed them. Red Sox win the final eight to create this game. And, Jim, the, the other fun fact that I think is just important for sports because we've been – We've been lucky with the new wild card to see some 163s. This was the first uh, 163 game since 1948, and it's Yankees Red Sox. Like this was huge. Damn. <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome. I didn't know that. What was the deficit? How much was the Red? How what was the Red Sox lead? Is it 10 games? At one point, the Red Sox had a 10 game lead in the division. The Yankees were third at that point, and then yeah, there's a whole paragraph. I mean. The Steinbrenner went full Steinbrenner, uh, oh. which is pretty exciting. But uh, yeah, and then it all it all accumulates in this. So the Red Sox just took the lead in the sixth inning, and we're gonna go top seven and see the Yankees respond. <clears throat> from Fenway Park in Coming Boston, up for I'm the New York Yankees, we have Greg Nettles, Chris Chambliss, and Roy White. My dad's favorite player. Dad, dad's favorite player. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, back to bad cameras. This, oh, yeah. this looks like a particularly terrible VHS copied version of this game. Ideal. But, so Nettles is up, and Torres is still on the bump. Right believe here, so. Oh. Believe so. Try and, try and get the old box right. score up. I got now it now. He didn't like that strike call because I think he thinks that um, called him on the swing, which we know he didn't. They called that on the pitch because no such thing as a check swing in the 70s. Did not exist. Um, yeah, man. And the other thing, I mean, Mike Torres, who is on the bump, uh, as I mentioned, he left teams, um, and he won two games in the World Series the year before, I believe. Ron Guidry this year, Jim. Giggity, giggity. Uh, I know you kids don't care about win-loss records anymore. 25-3 and three he finishes this season. When it gets to that level, you have to respect him. You have to care. <laughs> and I think the other numbers, the peripherals went with it. But um, what was his OPS? What was his ERA plus? It wasn't like 200. Uh, the gate. Uh, um, I think his ERA might have been 174. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Shameless taking big hacks. 208 ERA plus. So. 208 ERA plus. 100's average. <laughs> he was 100% better than average. I don't know if that works. Look at those shadows. Shadows are falling. No, single to left, it looks like. Da -da 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 -da. Keep me in your heart for a while. Yeah, Chambliss is on. Roy White comes up. So, everyone knows this game and the nickname Bucky Fucking Dent. What I... But I had to figure out, I was like, why was it such a surprise? You know, because I never get it. Because he wins World Series MVP. 
It's on a team. And then, you know, there, I have a bullet point list here. So here's some knowledge I'm giving you that I'm, I learned two seconds ago. Uh, Bucky Dent hadn't hit a home run since August 16th, 16 weeks earlier, and was in a horrible slump. Not that he was ever, like, a batsman, but he was in those six weeks, he had a 235 slugging percentage, Jake. 235 and a 250 on base. So... Pretty shit tag. Mm-hmm. We got another base hit there. Mm-hmm. How old is Torres? We all pull up the, the baseball reference too. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so Nettles flew out to right. Chambliss single. Roy White single. We've got Jim Spencer. Up. Jim Spencer. Um, and yeah, just I, I think some other names that maybe people know or don't know or would want to know. Uh, this Yankees team: Mickey Rivers, Thurman Munson, Sweet Lou Pinella, Reggie Jackson, Nettles, Chambliss, Roy White, um, Bucky Dent, as you're about to find out. Um, and then on a Sox team: Jerry Remy, Jim Rice, Yaz, Carlton Fisk, Freddie Lynn. Um, these are two. These are two good teams. What did uh, the Yankees lost game 162 and the Red Sox won it? So I wonder if, if the Yankees won that. This wouldn't have been necessary. Correct. Hummer. Although it looks like the Red Sox record was 99 and 169 and 64. Oh, okay. Baseball reference says the record after the. Game, like the end of the day record because it has the Yankees being ahead. Why wouldn't they do day out the record? Baseball reference. Come on. They beat him. Oh, spoiler. Oh, a mound visit. What do you think they're saying out there? Uh, it's Bucky fucking dead. Throw a strike. Is even up? I don't, I don't think, think we're at Bucky. I think we're at Jim, Jim Spencer. Pinch hit. He pinch hit for Doyle. Jim Spencer pitch hits for Brian Doyle, batting eighth. And I'm excited to see this. So again, we're we're learning and watching this together, and uh, it's a different experience a little. But it's supposedly it's this at bat is supposed to end with a fly ball to left. So I'm wondering if it's a scary fly ball to left or a not scary fly ball to left. All right, tune in. Mike Torres was 31 years old. Unless his birthday it, it comes before October. Yeah, so he just turned 32. Happy birthday. Uh, ugly swings, man. I've seen a lot of ugly swings. Ugly swings. I think, though, I do enjoy this era. You know I mentioned this a lot during the watching baseball, but this kind of pre-Astro turf, you definitely see the ch- swings get choppier because it was an easier way to get a hit. These guys took big hacks, man. They did. The Astro turf really changed baseball. I wonder if there was a lot of... Uh, like thesis papers are like a lot of like long articles about you know astroturf changing the way the baseball is played because just from our viewing it did like we saw the swing down come way back the swing down um, I mean the whole bunting from each time period the pine tar Torres a little pine tar in the thumb it's honey Famously used honey. I made that up. I'm sorry, people. It's a YouTube video. Yeah, no, I already, I already, we made the joke that there were no check swings in the 70s, and I already was like, ah, people probably don't realize that. Probably haven't watched every single video where they don't get that we're joking there. Like, we didn't see a check swing called a strike ever for a really long time. Yeah. We only watched bits. Until the 90s. We only only watched bits, but, yeah, it was very weird. Are you like that, like, long sleeve collared undershirt? I kind of like it, TBH. I always appreciate the honesty. Uh, Not a scary fly ball, turns out, Jake. Okay. Just a little drop the barrel chip shot. 
And so, man, two outs, the nine-hole hitter, Bucky Dent. And, yeah, it's starting to make a little more sense in my head movies when Bucky wasn't a hitter, was slumping the magnitude of this game. That's a <laughs> good way to get the F-bomb in between your normally addressed names. Those shadows look brutal. <laughs> Tough to hit. Tough to hit. They've got people in the crowd in center wearing, like, white shirts. <laughs> like, it's a tough environment. Look how much he chokes up for the first pitch. Like, you see guys choke up with the two-strike approach, but This is KBO Bucky Dent. Dude, I never understood choking up. Like, if Bucky Dent steps up there and chokes up from the very start, right? Like, look how high his hands are. Just get a smaller bat, dude. Like, if, if you're doing that every pitch, if you have a two-strike approach, I understand you want the length and the coverage on the other times, but just get a smaller bat. If that's how you're using it every pitch. I kind of see what you're saying, but also not. I mean, you get you get some of the perks of the bigger bat with a little more control. It's a preference. Oh, boy. I think that swing and a miss adds to the bucket. <laughs> 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 That's tough. You, like, and so, okay, let's jump into the Yankees fan perspective. You're, you're dying right now. You're down 2 nothing. You think that your heroic comeback this season is all going to a waste when you see Bucky Dent swing like that. Falls on his bum gets up, he's kind of hurting afterwards. You're not feeling good right now. Look like a nice little screwball pitch. And also, I, I appreciate you saying bum. Bum. I'm for the kids, you know that. Minus my sexual. Eighth grader, eighth grader followed me on Instagram today. And I was like, oh. What is this about? Just like a foot massage? I think he fell, man. He fe he fell and he rolled pretty ugly. I know, but the trainer doesn't come out and like do whatever that was these days. No massage a room. Five second like. Heels, and you just keep on it, like he was like kneading dough. Do Maybe it was a little magic. You're gonna hit a home run. Is that his stance? Oh, okay. I thought he was like had a Kevin Euclid stance. Okay. Two out, two on, two nothing. Boston top of the seventh. Come on. Oh. No audio. Audio would be good. Can we go back? One, I forgot I didn't have the audio on the whole time. So I don't know if that's better or worse. It feels benign to me. I know that we're... 50 years later and all that. It also always blew my mind that this is in the seventh inning. And like, I just think of like walk-offs and, and stuff as like, those are the remembered at bats. But I don't know. Let's watch it again. I think it's just the shock factor, man. Bucky Dent doesn't do this. I also wish we could see the ball. Like, did, was that yeah. a lollipop pop up or was that a line drive? Because there's a huge difference in like what happened to the pitcher. I think it's a Fenway like pop up home run, man. I, I think you listen to the way he called it, and it's like, oh, it's to you. He says it's to Yastrzemski in the corner. <laughs> Gotta take advantage of it. Just skim the top. Bucky Dent's uh, highest Look career home runs in a season is eight. Hell yes. There it was. it looks like he gets under and just slices it up. But I, you can't really see a thing, so. Just barely cleared the top of the wall. And it's 3 2 New York in the top of the seventh inning. Just barely. That's. Sucks. I mean, worst case, it was hit the top of the wall, and it's a two-to-one game. Yeah. Yeah. Don Zimmer's the manager of the Red Sox. Don Zimmer. 
A lot of Yankee greats. Yogi Bearers on the bench for the Yankees. Just old men that I grew up adoring. One ball, two strikes with two out. Young Don Zimmer. Respecting. Respecting, yeah. Inside. Two balls Backdoor two slider or something like that. Stanley and Hessler in the bullpen. The Five hits goal. each and the Yankees are up. So, yeah, say that hits the top of the monster. It's probably first and second or first and third. Two to one. I think, and again, maybe this is my Yankees bias kicking in, but I'd rather be up three to two than down two to one. Mm -hmm. I think they score more runs this inning anyway, so like I'm saying it. Watch how close it is. You can't see the ball one bit. <laughs> oh, there it is. I found it. It was a lollipop because it's coming down. So it's just yeah. a pop-up. It's like a – I mean, it's an out, Yank, at, it's an out at any other – 29 other stadiums, that's an out. I, and, and, oh, yeah, the Yankees have a short porch too. Every stadium has quirks. I love all of them, but – yeah, that's just how unlucky it is. It was pre-expansion. There weren't 29 other stadiums. Oh, uh, uh, look at the polo grounds dimensions. Eat a bug. Foul tip at the plate. Foul tip at the plate. Um, eat two bugs. That's it's fun, though. It's fun that it wasn't a bomb. You know, just a little, yeah. like, pop-up. I bet you it didn't feel good off Bucky Dent's bat at all. Like, he didn't make contact and think... I think it did feel good off Bucky Dent's bat for the time okay. he was having. Yeah. Anything anything in the air felt good. Yeah. Here comes Zim. Name my dog after this man. Bob Stanley's coming in. Bob That's an American Stanley. Name. Coming in out of the bullpen. Wow. <laughs> Uh, Some good names in this game. We get uh, the final pitcher for the Sox is Dick Drago. Drago. Yeah, dude, I saw that name, um, and I was so excited. Dick Drago. The third baseman is Jack Brohammer. I mean, kidding me? Brohammer? Brohammer. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe like Dick Brohammer would be cool. Jack, guy with the penis is what his name is. Armed appearance of the year, he's Keith. Warm-up pitches. Thurman's coming up now. Oh, who's up? Yeah, Thurman. Thurman Munson hitting two-hole. Hanks went Gittery to Gossage in this game. That's mean. It's pretty nice. Oh! They go to first, and it's close on Rivers. Mickey fell away from George Scott. Shadow sneaking up. Yeah, there's a lot of shadows. Suck. Kind of sucks. Now he's a little more conservative. The shadows playing. Thank God for the dual screen. Dual screen. Mickey Rivers having trouble getting back to first base. I think they've like tagged him in the face twice. Out of the sun and into the shadows, and that can make it a little tough on the hitter. But not on Mr. Bucky Dent. And he's off. Munson swings and misses, and this bounces the throw to the second. That looked like the ball was there. I don't know. Tight play. Tight play. Let's see. After two pickoffs, he just goes. Mickey Rivers. I mean, he still steals bases. Oh, yeah. Real clean. And then when he throws it on the one hop, why, there's no chance whatsoever. Rivers with the speed. And he's there in front of the... Yeah, it looks in. Remy. One hop. There's one hop this right time. Mickey Rivers' second stolen base this game. And Mickey Rivers goes Rango, to Old Timers Day and steals bases. That's just what that guy does. Mickey Rivers had 70 stolen bases in 1975. This is what, 1978? He had 25. So came down a little bit, but his toes were hurting him. My toes, man. Thurman Munson. 
This doesn't count as postseason numbers, but Thurman's postseason numbers add up to him getting the job done right there. And, yep, not going to celebrate in the slightest. Hands to the hips. Always. Pinch run. That looked like a bad swing, too. Like, he got it, but it looked like he kind of stepped in the bucket and then kept his hands with it. That's what the broadcast said. He doesn't get all of this one. Now here he comes, Jake. Sweet Lou. You're a Red Sox fan. This is full nightmare. Yeah, this sucks. Like, you can't believe this inning's still happening. And you had Bucky Dent up with two outs. I know. And the inning before, Jake, they they scored, right? And then they had uh, two men on, I believe. And Fred Lynn hit a ball to right field that Lou Pinello, like, tracked down and basket caught at the warning track. So they could have added to it. All right, we're going to skip to the bottom of the ninth, which is always hard to find on these old broadcasts. All right, Yastrzemski's at second. That's not the bottom of the ninth, right? I think that's eighth. Bam. Huge. Yeah, Boston Five. September um, Yeah, so before the Bucky Dent home run, uh, Boston's win expectancy was 82%. After, it was 36. It's a nice shot. The Boston Five, you think that bank's still in business? I don't know. They got bought out. Yeah, looks like in uh, 1993. 1993, the Boston Five got bought out by the Citizens Financial Group, which is a subsidiary of the Royal Bank of Scotland. Citizens Bank bought them out. RBS. Here's the goose. The goose is loose. Second inning of work, Jake, and he got bounced around a little in the bottom of the eighth inning and gave up a double and three singles. How much fun did newspapers and, and radio shows have when the Yankees went from the gator to the goose? I mean, as much fun as we're having right now. Yeah. Gator to the goose. Haven't seen that since. Some some animal hunting reference. I don't know. Okay. I couldn't do it. I don't want to live that lifestyle. I couldn't do it. He doesn't live that lifestyle, people. Get off his ass about me. Thank you um, for having my back. I'll Dwight look. Evans fly out. So it's a one-run game. There's George. George. Yeah, and as you mentioned, the inning before, uh, Yaz hit an RBI single and Freddie Lynn hit an RBI single. One out. Nobody on. Five, four. Look at all that's happening in, in uh, Goose's windup. A lot of action. Burleson, good speed, gets on base. Represents the tying run for the Red Sox. Good speed. Gets on base. <laughs> yeah. It's like a radio call. It's, like, it's a good announcer call. It's almost like poetry. Good what speed. What does this guy gets do? On pace. He's got good speed. He gets on base. Goose. It's okay, Lost though, Jake, because he's not the leadoff runner. Good speed. Gets on base. That's the first walk. Who's up in the pen? Sparky Lyle. Sparky Lyle. Thank you. 
Gata, Goose, Sparky. Don Zimmer, Al Jackson at his elbow. The batter. Dude, I love old school. I love this style of commentating. It's so funny. They literally, it's radio, but they're, they're, they're putting, so like, you know, radio has to paint the picture, right? But at this day and age, it seems like they thought they had to paint every picture. So when the camera goes through the dugout to like Don Zimmer, yeah. George Steinbrenner, they, maybe he was doing both. So he's, but that wouldn't make sense to the radio listener. Because they're not seeing it. Yeah. But he, like, compliments I, every scene. There's Don Zimmer. I, I think it has to do with kind of the graphics and stuff. And, like you're saying, still transitioning from radio. Like, yeah. you're the, like you can see it in front of you, but you also can't. <laughs> That's uh, it's just funny. Let's see. The Yankee dug out. Bob Lemon, man in the middle. Art Fowler. That just doesn't happen anymore. Like, you know, you show Link, you know, the Yankees dugout. Bob Lemon, Art Fowler, Yogi Berra. Watch on. This is a very famous play. Very, very famous play because that's the tying run that he stopped from going to third. And he and Pinella completely loses it in the sun. And that he like he only sees it once it hits the grass in front of him. Look at the sun, man. Look at that stab. If he doesn't make that, it's a tie game. Like if that goes past him, that runner scoring. Are you frozen? You there? Here. You were frozen. You. Did you see the Lupinella? I saw the Lupinella. You, you just started talking famous, and then it said you disconnected. Uh, the, it, that camera work. All right, so, yeah, you got disconnected for a second. But the stab that Pinella makes. Right. In the sun. If it, if it gets by him, the game's tied on that play. Yep. That guy just booms it because he's got to run and chase the ball, throw it in, do a relay, all that. So the game's tied. So that stab is crazy. And then the next play, they get the runner to third, but now it's two outs. Yep. That right field looks hellish, though, with how sunny it, it is. It is. Is it still like that at Fenway day games? Or is this I a weird time? I think they're in a time? good day game, yeah. I think we've seen, you know, when they've thrown J.D. Martinez Oh, out yes, there yes, 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 yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. Rice did not get a lot of it. Fielded off the right. Now the batter. So now you get, I mean, he had to go through Remy, Rice, and Yaz. Goose. It's a good baseball. It's like a lot of good baseball players. Like said, Great baseball, baseball players. Eight. The history of this rivalry, Mike Evans. The history of this ballpark of the franchise. The fact that both the American and National League this year went over 20 million for the first time in baseball history, totaling better than 40 million for both of them. What was the that stat? They went over 20 million. What? I have no idea. Everything in the world. Is it attendance or something? I heard 20 million, then 40 million. So I have no yeah. idea. Attendance? Payroll stuff? I don't know. I don't think payroll is there. Oh, the other tidbit about the Bucky Dent home run was he wasn't using his own bat. Someone gave him the bat and was like, hey, yours is cracked. Use mine. Fungo. It was Mickey Rivers' bat. Maybe that's why he was so choked up. I think Bucky was a choked up guy. Slap hitter. He has hit a home run and a single in this ball game. Damn, home run and single in the game with the tying run at third. 
And the other thing that's going through my head is Sparky Lyles up in the bullpen, and he's a lefty. I, I mean, I don't know the if Gossage had rules back in the day, like you just don't take him out unless he blows yeah. it. But Bob Lemon ain't taking him out. Soft. Oh, yeah. Red Sox out hit the Yankees at this point, according to that graphic. And according to this image, Goose is a blurred face monster. I was interested to see what the celebration is for this. Fan on the crowd. Fan on the field. I guess that is true, man. I mean, you go straight to the semifinals if you win this game, you, you could celebrate it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like a DS today. Yeah. The Yankees went and they beat the Royals three games to one. And then in the 78 World Series, as we watched already, they beat the Dodgers in six games. And World Series MVP is Bucky Dent. I think his numbers in the World Series were crazy. Let me see. I'll, I'll find him real quick. In the World Series, Bucky Dent hit 417 with a 440 on base percentage. He just needed 163 to get him kick-started, Jake. The 162 was spring training for Bucky Dent. That's all it takes, man. One spring. A little confidence. Send, send your whole team to the playoffs. You think we have an interview? Reggie hugging everyone. It is a gloomy day for the Boston Oh, there's the boss. Steinbrenner, who suspended Reggie Jackson earlier that season. <laughs> Different team dynamics. Big ass camera. All right, so that's the 1978 game 163. I think our idea was to try and find some more. Um, Game 163s. I mean, that's the first one since 1940. That one surely, I mean, might be on TV. I doubt it. Uh, might be on YouTube. I doubt it. So we'll hunt down Game 163s and watch all of those. Boom. And we'll be back on uh, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for watching baseball. Sequence with Trevor Plouffe on Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.